Yes, my people, we're today out for Yes, we'll be back to the show when this is still tea time on Plus TV Africa. We just had a fantastic break, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah It was yeah, fantastic. Yeah, yeah. You like more logo, right? Yeah, definitely. All right, amazing stuff. So, Dami Das, whose real names are Olua Damilola Adini, is a contemporary Nigerian artist with a soulful voice and an artistic style of creating music. He studied audio technology at the Mikari Music Academy in Port Harcourt. He has a BSc from Wisconsin University, Ghana, and is currently studying for his master's degree at HMKW University in Berlin. He is from Ogun State, Western Nigeria. He has dropped some songs. His most recently dropped um, track is is um, in November, um, track dropped in November 2020, titled and Jalila. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Tea Time Table. Dami Das. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How you doing, bro? I'm blessed. What's going on? I'm blessed. Good to have you in the show. Good to, good to be here. All right, us. tell us about Dami Das. Who is Dami Das? Dami Apart Dami. from what I just read. I don't want none of this information again. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a creative mind. And yeah, that was there. Um... I like to make music a whole lot. Yeah, that was that. <laughs> wow, you don't say. Okay. I thought you I love to paint. <laughs> you love to paint. Okay, yeah. go on with that. Yeah, so my great. artistic mind that was there. and creative mind that was there. makes me put things together. <laughs> 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 yeah, so I'm just one humble boy that likes to make music. All right. All right, so what does Dami Das do besides, you know, music? music? When you're not doing music, when you're not painting, you know, what else what would else you be doing? Do? Because I know that um, you're taking your education really seriously, yeah, you know, real. and you're doing your master's right now. Yeah. So if music don't work out, what else would Dami Das be doing? Yeah. I thought about a plan B, but now if I think about a plan B, it drifts me away from my plan A. So my plan A is my plan A. If I'm going to have a plan B, is to push my plan A to work. Um, but still going to school, what I study in um, school is marketing. Mm -hmm. Right now, I'm doing my uh, master's in Berlin, media marketing, and um, still trying to push the whole marketing perspective and trying to get more knowledge to better my craft. Still okay. pushing the whole music and art stuff, yeah. Mm. All right, so um, as an artist <clears throat> and uh, uh, with the new development and approach to music in terms of uh, the switch and sound and also the digital part of it how exactly have you been able to combine both and infuse that in your creative space mm. for that aspect I, I i listen to a whole lot of new things i actually went to music school so that i could learn more about production and so i could do did my thing did you learn that or they taught uh, you how to play the cello nah <laughs> <laughs> we actually my career music school is actually really cool. They teach you how to actually make music, the keyboards and all what you really need to do. So I want to do music for a long time. So learning about all those stuff really matters to me. I know sound evolves with time. So how to create my own sound? I listen to a whole lot of people. So when I hear this one and I know that this sound is evolved from what we used to know, I should be able to create that by myself. Basically, that's how I roll. All right, so if there was anything you could change about the music industry, you know, being an, up, um, an emerging artist and all that, what would it be? What would you want to change? Is there anything that bothers you a lot about the industry? Mm -hmm. I think, ah, the know me, know you perspective. Mm. Like, you have to have, like, a godfather. You have to have, like, somebody that pushes so you. So who do you know? Who do I know? I know God. <laughs> <Major. coughs> yeah. So you, you, you don't have like a godfather, you don't have like a, an established artist that you, you're very oh, close so to. What's it? I, I, I even want to know what the know me, know you part is. Because I know it's part, I know like, there's that in politics, but yeah, in music. In music, there's yeah. know me, know you. What have you experienced? Have I experienced, I don't, uh, would I say I've experienced any? Not really though, but like in shows, for example, um, you actually have to like know some people inside to like get like. Shows. Yeah, obviously you're not just gonna jump out of the crowd. No, <laughs> <laughs> no. Like for instance, let me let me give you this instance. Um, I had a show in um, Ibadan last, I think last year or earlier this year, and um, it actually helped me. Um, I knew the guy that was hosting the show. Mm. 
I came in late. I thought the show was going to like take time before like people come in and all that. So I came in late, and there was a whole list of like artists that were supposed to perform. And then I was like backstage, and I was I just went to meet him. Like you, I went to meet them up there, and they were like, you can't perform because you're not on the list. And we've already talked about this way back that I was going to perform on this show. And I just went to meet him like, yo, bro, please, I need to do this. And I was like, ah, don't worry, I'll call you in by myself. And he went upstage when he finished doing his own thing. And it was like, the next actors I'm bringing on. And he called me in. That's, it worked for me. Know me, know you. Know me, know you. If I didn't know Who's him. Who's this guy? Tell us. Remote, one of the best comedians in um, Ibadan. Not just Ibadan, he's really, really good. You should check him out. Remote, MC Remote. I know um, him, actually. You know him? Yeah, the video of his is viral at the moment. Yeah, yeah big thing in IB. Um, so, yeah. So, I just talked to him. He's like a brother to me. So, he was like, yo, don't worry. I'll put you on. And he put me on. Even before Kenny Black performed, he allowed me to perform. So, that know me know you actually. But don't you think me. that's applicable in every industry? Um, For sure, it is in every industry. But, like... Don't you think you would get a job in this station above somebody who doesn't know somebody in the station? No, you, you, you asked me if I could change one thing. <laughs> <laughs> you asked me if I could change one thing. That's the one thing. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> no, 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 that's, no, that's no, no, okay. no, no, that, no, that's no, 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 they are mm. more talented people than the David Doe's, the Burner Boys, that are not out there because they don't know nobody. Okay. What is that thing that is special about your sound that you think the world needs to get you know, acquainted my to? My artistry, my creativity. Like, I create music the way I think sounds really good. Like, not like sounding the regular, but I can take some stuff from the regular and infuse and like add my own little creativity yeah. to like make mm. it better than stores are here or feel all right so okay. um sorry no, no, go on. when um uh, if i was you know uh, dishing out your bio uh there's a mention of berlin um and i think another country ghana ghana yeah and ghana and as, as yeah. well at the same yeah yeah nice now so all right this so, guy lost <laughs> <laughs> Either way. We're just pricing you how much with your hand cost. That's not just true. I think me. that was just hey, what's up? I'm good. How are you doing too? I'm good. Hey, we're Ghanaians. <laughs> yeah. So either way, um uh, <laughs> <laughs> So all these countries, I wanna believe like you were still making music at the time. Yeah. Right? And I, You're still I, I in wonder, Berlin, right? Now are for, you done? Nah, I'm still I'm still schooling in Berlin. But right now, due to the whole corona issue and all that, yeah, I do home. online classes. Yeah. yeah, I'm in my second semester. I almost done with my masters. All right. That's great. That's yeah. great. Blessings. Now, uh, how has um, the music business over there influenced how you see and attack the music business here? And I like to travel a whole lot. You so don't see. I like to travel a whole travel. lot. <laughs> so like. Exposure is one thing. You learn how they do things there. You learn how they do things here. All right. Like, I infuse all that all to better my music. All righty. All right, so we're running out of time, so we have to let you go. But um, do you do freestyles? Do I freestyle? Yeah. Yeah, I All do. right, so we'd like you to, you know, freestyle, you know, telling the people where they can find you and, you know, just rapping about the show you've just been on. Okay. And singing, whatever you do best, you know, just do a freestyle. Let's do it. So tell them where they can find you. That's the main name of this freestyle. Okay. Baby, beauty is a lifestyle. When you reach in my inside, baby, put on your seatbelt, too. If you need a gangster, I go be your gangster, baby, just for you alone. If I felt I would read me, but I'd hold myself for you, baby. I'm in fun when I see your face. Beautiful smile and your body nice. Everything about you, baby, seems all right. Oh, Pass FM. Ooh. You can catch me on Instagram. Dami, Dami Das. D-A-A-S. Dami Das. Thank you for having me here. All righty, all righty, all righty. That was lovely. That was lovely. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for being with us on the show, Dami Das, and we wish you the best of all.